Okay, I wanted to show you guys the expansion for uh, Hildegard. I'm calling it the micro expansion, and it's called Bows and Breakfast. And here is the prototype for it. The packaging, it'll look just like this. It comes with an instruction card and four cards for chapter one, an instruction card and four cards for chapter four, and then one additional card that I put at the very last second for chapter two. At the moment, I want to take a look at the cards for chapter one. So it has this instruction card and it says, please read this card. We'll do that now. It says, welcome to Waffled, a breezy mini event that can occur as your adventure begins in chapter one. Enjoy a little R&R &R at the Hungry Hog. When starting your game, have cards 382 through 385 handy. If you go to breakfast and find yourself on card two, you may pull card 382. So 382 is right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cards and we're gonna put them here on the play mat. This is kind of a, there's a little spot for miscellaneous cards, decks and things that occur during the game. Anyhow, for our purposes now, we're gonna put them there. That's where I would put them. And then I'm just gonna start my game at one of the three starting cards. I'll just take the one on the top. I'm gonna to read the story. I'm gonna do the instructions there. And then I have a choice. I can either go to the mercantile or I can go to breakfast. In this case, I'm going to want to go to breakfast because that is where the expansion starts. So let's do that now, which is card two. I'm going to put that down and it says the hungry hog. Before embarking into the wild, you decide a hearty breakfast at the hungry hog is in order. You haven't eaten since yesterday and your stomach is growling. Farfully, the barkeep asks, what will you have? So now we're given three choices. We can have dried fruits and nuts, porridge and coffee, or bread and buttermilk. But now we also have something additional that can occur. So I'm going to pull that card as instructed and I'm given another little bit of story and another option. So at this point, I have four options instead of three. And if I choose this fourth option, it's gonna to go to these cards instead of carrying on here. And then after these cards are over, you'll follow the instructions and it will weave you back into the story again. So, you know, this is one of those things where I, I just love the idea of having more options and having the game kind of breathe a little bit of new life through additional cards. You know, you might be playing a game a few times, you've gone through your three options for uh, choices here, and they all do something different. And it's fun to see how trivial little choices like this at the beginning of a story can do other things. Now, I'm not saying they're big things, but you know, it's it's fun flavor for the game. Uh, I just, I think it's a lot of fun. It's the kind of thing that I would want if somebody had made a game like this and they brought a few fun little things like this, I, I would definitely hop on board. So anyhow, that's what I did for um, chapter one. Then for chapter four, it's a little bit more um, prominent in terms of how the chapter functions. So without giving too much away, you have adversaries throughout chapter four, and you're gonna place a deck here of those adversaries, and there's going to be seven of them. Now, again, if you play the game quite a few times and you just wanna see something new, you wanna try some different things, you're gonna be given four new adversaries here that you can swap out into your main deck. So you have seven in the main deck, you have four additional ones here, you always have to have seven cards in play, but now you got four new fun ones to try. It'll just, you know, adds a little bit more, you know, more like I keep saying, a little more flavor, a little more variety to the game. I just think it's a lot of fun. And I, um, Diego, uh, the artist and I, we were making these, uh, these enemies and I just had a lot of ideas. And after we were done, we were still kind of playing with it and having fun and I just I couldn't leave it be. I couldn't leave it be and I just wanted to make some more fun stuff um let's see here so um well I already flipped that one over so I'll show that one so here's one um that's in there and I'll leave the other three um as a surprise for later if you um uh, decide this is something you're interested in and that's really it I uh hope you enjoyed this and um Hope you enjoy the expansion.